Guess what happens when your son goes to college and says he wants barbecue pork, checks two Asian grocery stores and can't find it. Your mother sends you recipes and videos about how to make it. So we are gonna be making Chinese barbecue pork today, cha sa ro. All right, so we are gonna start off with, all right, let me angle this down so you can see what's happening here. We are gonna start with, here we go. All right, can you see that? Yeah, sort of like that. There we go. We're gonna start out with a quarter cup of sugar and you know me, I am the one who loves to use only organic ingredients, so that's what we're doing. Organic white sugar and then Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt, actually. We're gonna have two tablespoons, or I mean, sorry, that's wrong. Two teaspoons of salt. Oh, I think I was a little short on that. Okay, two teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of five spice. Did you know what's in Chinese five spice? I'm gonna have to tell you here in a second, hold on. I was actually surprised to find out what was in Five Spice. It is actually anise, cinnamon, um, star anise, cloves, ginger, and whatever other agents they stick in this stuff. So that's Five Spice. We're gonna put a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. I haven't used white pepper in a long time, but here we go. Quarter teaspoon. Oh, it smells so good. That five spice smells so good. It already smells like my mom used to make this Taiwanese sausage that I would love. And she would do it by hand at home on our little KitchenAid. And she would stuff the sausage. It was amazing. Okay, white pepper, half a teaspoon of sesame seed oil. Here we go. Sesame seed oil. We're going to do one tablespoon of, it actually calls for Shaoxing, I think that's how you say it, rice wine. Uh, one tablespoon, but I didn't have that, couldn't find it, wasn't close to an Asian grocery store, so we are just using white cooking wine. Actually, if you have some sort of dry white sherry, that works really well as well. Okay, so one tablespoon of that. And we're gonna add one tablespoon of soy sauce. And again, if you know me, I am actually using Bragg's, uh, can you see that? <laughs> Can't, here we go, amino acids. Um, we're gonna do two tablespoons of molasses. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Back up, back up, back up. We're gonna do one tablespoon of hoisin sauce. Ooh. And then we're gonna do two teaspoons. I'm gonna let that dribble out. Let all that goodness dribble out. And we're gonna do two teaspoons of molasses. Ah! Oh my goodness. Okay, this is some thick stuff, guys. One. All right, two. I need something to help get this out. There you go. Make sure all the poison sauce is out and we don't miss any of that goodness either. All right, then we are going to use three cloves of finely minced garlic. Again, if you know me, it's frozen. Yep, it's frozen. Can't ever have too many cloves of garlic though. Can you? I don't really think that's a thing. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna do is, well, second to last thing we're gonna do is two tablespoons of honey. Oh, and my jar is just about out. I'm going to have to go grab some more. Look at that. Is that not so yummy? Okay. And then we need one tablespoon of hot water as well. Let me go grab the honey, run some water. Okay, one more tablespoon of honey. 
if you remember, if you've ever had char siu, it's hard for me to say that this just the American way versus how I say it in Taiwanese. If you've ever had sa sa ro, then you always see that it has like some sort of like, um, it's a glaze at the, on top of it, right? It's shiny. And that's from the molasses and the honey. Right, let's see if this is hot yet. All right, not just yet. We're still scraping out a little bit of that. And let's get this a little mixed up. I owe it one tablespoon of, one tablespoon of water. And then we'll be good. There we go. One last tablespoon of water. And as that marinates, that garlic's gonna dissolve as well. And then I'll be back to show you how we're putting it, cutting up the pork and putting it on. Okay, top. so we're back and look at this. It is all dissolved with the yummy garlic in there and everything. And I have a pork shoulder butt that we're gonna cut down. I only need three pounds of this. This is about 10 pounds. And what you wanna make sure you have is this. You wanna have a really nice piece of fat because that's what makes tasaro taste so yummy. So seeing as how I kind of want this in thirds, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and slice down. Um, there actually is a bone in this, so it depends on where you're getting your meat from might have to watch out for that when you're cutting it. And then once we're done, we are going to slice this into about three inch strips. And see, like I got a bone sitting right there. Yep, we had a bone sitting right there. So we are gonna have to cut around that, right? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna set this piece sort of aside. And this is the piece that we're gonna use. This is about three pounds worth, maybe a little bit more, but I want about three inch, about three inch slices. So I'm gonna go like this. Let's cut this thing in half. See how amazing and marbled that is? That is what's gonna make it yummy. All right, then I'm gonna take these two pieces and I am going to pour that sauce over it. I'm gonna move this over here. Okay, and now what we're going to do, let's scooch, whoops, scooch that over. We're gonna take this yummy marinade. We're gonna pour that over it. And we're gonna just reserve just a little because we're gonna want to make sure we have a little extra to brush on top, okay? See how amazing that looks. All right, I'm just gonna leave about that much. Make sure this gets all, all in there, right? And make sure it's got all that goodness layering and soaking in. We are gonna soak this overnight or for at least eight hours, and then I will show you the magic in the oven. All right, okay, we we're back, and I did something while you were sleeping. All right, we're gonna put the oven at 350. And let me pull this out for you. Whoops, <laughs> need to close both doors in the refrigerator. Okie dokie. So what I ended up doing, I decided that our cuts were a little bit too big. So this is what ended up happening. So there we go. I cut them into um, halves, right? So they were like this when I left ya. And then I have rotated them a couple times in the uh, marinade and oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay. Now I don't have one of those fancy schmancy things. I have a thing for regular ribs. So what we're going to do right here, 
see how we've got this going. <laughs> this is my regular remark. <laughs> the rack from my toaster oven, <laughs> the roaster, and inside the roaster, we're gonna put one and a half cups of water. Then we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake this for 30 minutes on each side. Oops. Um, and then, if after 30 minutes it needs more water, we'll add that as well. Let me stick this on here. I will grab some tin foil. I don't actually love tin foil, but it is what it is. So we're gonna get some. Around there. Right? I'm gonna poke the slats. Whoops! I did that backwards. Okay. There it is that we want that to be able to steam through. I'm gonna stick this on here. This is my regular rig rack, because I don't think this is well, you know what? Let's see. Let's see if it's big enough. Maybe it is big enough. And I just don't think it is. There we go. One. Two. Three. Four. I actually think that's going to work. What do you say? Looks good, right? All right. We got all this goodness right here. So we're going to get a baster brush some of that on there and then we have some that's reserved from yesterday as well that we can use I might just end up pouring this on top of it might be a better deal Make sure those sides that I cut got a little extra because they didn't get to soak quite as long as the rest of it. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to stick this in the oven. Oh, crud! I heated the top oven and not the bottom. All right, cancel, bake, uh, cancel, bake. All right, I will stick that in and I'll be back to show you what it's like in between. It's been 30 minutes. Got something else cooking on the top, but here is what it's like. Mm, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Can I get you down further here? Let's see. We're gonna flip it over and I'm gonna baste it. So here we go. Take and flip each one over. all that. Now I'm going to add some more of this on top. All right, I want to save just a tad for the very end. It's looking pretty good, and the house smells amazing. All right, let me jiggle this a little bit and see. Let's see if this. Oh yeah, there's plenty of water down there and some juiciness. Let's get that back in. Thirty more minutes. All right, time to check and baste these things again. Where's my gloves? Here we go. Oh, they're looking really good, aren't they? Can you see that? Oh my gosh. Perfection, perfection. All right, so I'm gonna take and turn it to one side. We're gonna baste it one more time. Whoops. That one didn't want like to stand that way. Baste it one more time, and then we're going to... Then 
I'm going to probably need to broil it to get that nice crunch on the outside. Now, if you want this to be glazed and shiny, like a lot of the other tassa roll is, you would probably want to put some honey. Some people use maltose. Not into that. <laughs> so, we're just going to taste this. There we go. All right. Put that in for another 10 minutes or so. You ready to see what this thing looks like? All right, 10 minutes later, here it is. Ooh, check it out. Okay? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to stick that into broil. I think maybe just for a few minutes. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. It's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. Wow, check it out. It smells so yummy. All right, gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. All right, let that sit. Now we're gonna move this over. Oh, it's stuck. There we go. Move this over on the pan. Or I mean on the plate. I move the other guys over too. See how nice that fat, ooh, yummy. <laughs> see. Whoops. <laughs> I was getting away. <laughs> All right, let's cut a piece and see what it's like. Oh, perfect. 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 See that? Totally perfect. And now, now I'm going to try it. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> See you later. Tell me below if you make it, how it turns out.